Hey, this is Greg with World in Disorder, and today we're taking a look at the PS Kook um, Fire Paracord. Uh, there's two different lengths that I saw. There's a 20 foot, and then there's this, uh, which is the 100 feet. Uh, there's various colors that you can choose from. I chose, um, I bought the, uh, the light green or the neon green um, because it'll stand out. Um, I'm not uh, super into the whole tactical uh, scene, but uh, this one right here will will be perfect for, say, um, like a, a black knife lanyard. You know, if you were to drop the knife, maybe the black would uh, would fade into the the ground. However, you know, the this neon bright green will stand out. Um, let's see here. It's, uh, uh, it's If you look at the listing, they're, they're very uh, honest and very upfront with you. Uh, this is not um, nylon. This is polyester. Uh, it's seven strand polyester paracord, so it's not it's not your typical 550 strength paracord. I think this is uh, three 380, um, and it has seven strand uh, seven strands. It has a a cotton strand as well, and then it has a waxed um, waxed tender uh, portion. Um, I probably wouldn't have several, uh, you know, bracelets made of, of this because I, I don't think that you would need a, a seven-foot section of the tender. And to be honest, I mean, that's why you're buying this, right? Fire paracord, you're buying it for for fire. It's not just, you know, you're, um, it's not just paracord. So what I would probably have is several um, things like a, like a, a, a lanyard made from it. For your fire steel, a lanyard for your knife, um, and I think what would be perfect for this would be like say a uh, zipper pulls. Um, but before I, I go uh, go in there, I also wanted to uh, um, say what's pretty neat about PS Cook uh, is that they that they always include always that they include um, gifts with your purchase. Uh, for example, whenever I bought the uh, paracord bracelets, there was a little section of the fire paracord that, that came with it. So I didn't have to destroy the the bracelet in order to look at the paracord and the, um, the tender part. Well, with this right here, there was this um, rubberized um, bendable metal thing. It, you know, it'd be great to uh, keep your paracord bunched up. Uh, or, uh, you know, if you have a, uh, if you hang in a hammock, you could use that, you know, to hang from your ridge line and, and hang something from that. Um, or, uh, basically anything, anything that you can think of where you could, uh, could use a, you know, just a bendable rubberized little device. I mean, it's, it's, it's neat and it's free. You know, they just throw it in there, a little gift, just, uh, you know, say thank you. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, so the perfect thing I think that this would, would make um, or be for would be, say, um, like for a uh, zipper pulls on your backpack. You could replace four or five of your, of your zipper uh, pulls or add four or five zipper pulls. You're not adding hardly any weight to it and then you have several sections of that um of this paracord this fire paracord that you know are about 18 inches so let's let's walk through making a a paracord um a zipper pull so like i said you probably need somewhere around 18 inches you could probably you know you go a little further than that if you wanted to get a knife And we will cut this about right here. Cuts easy. The rest of this we don't need right now. The way that you make um, the uh, the way that you make either a paracord bracelet or one of the ways um, the knot that you're going to be using is called the uh, I think it's called the cobra knot. And what, what you do to make that, and it's also the same thing that you use to make um, this right here, the zipper pull, is you, you fold the uh, paracord in, in half, find the middle, go up a, a few inches, and then take the 
paracord, make sure I'm in frame, yep. And go, go across like this, take this, down, around, and through. And tighten things up. Okay. The way you do this is that um, if you look at the at what you have here, you've got you've got a line running out to the side, and then you have a line that runs up to the top. You always go with the one that's going more to the side, um, or you can just say that you alternate. So now, grab this one. Same thing, down, around, and through. Tighten it, and now we should be seeing that knot. Make sure you tighten everything down, snug it. I may need to, uh, to tighten it up here. But now, if you look at it, you've got, you've got the, side, the, the side that now is going up, and then you have the one that's going out the side. So again, just to make, uh, just to show you in more detail, take the the side that's going out, or take the um, take the rope that's going out the side, okay. Lay it across the front. Take the other side, go over toward the back and through, and then just start tightening up both. Okay, so now you've got two loops, do the same thing, but this, this time we're on the left. Okay, across, down, around, and through. And I'll be able to probably get a few more, maybe two. Of course, the more rope that you use, the more paracord that you use, the longer you can make this. But we're, we're just making zipper pulls, so I think that this right here will, will be fine. And um, I'm not quite sure if we could get another one. Probably not. Okay. You know what? We're just going to say that, that, that that's good. And what I would do from this point is I would uh, cut it here, cut it here, and use a lighter and burn it. But... Um, now let's say that we're in a survival situation and what we have are a bunch of these, um, you know, say five or six of these and we need a fire. This is fine because this is actually one of the little cotton strings, which I guess you could use for like say sewing, sewing. Uh, you could also use it for a little bit extra tender if you needed it. So the rest of the paracord we can turn back into now a zipper pull. There we go. And see, I mean, once once you get the tinder all worked out, it only takes a couple strikes. And now you have fiber, fire. And that'll burn for, for a, a while. Get your uh, get your other tinder lit, your, your branches lit. Blow it out, save it for later. So this is my review of the uh, PS Kook Fire Paracord. Um, you know, Paracord has got so many different uses. You can use it for anything from um, hanging your food bag to uh, making zipper pulls, making uh, replacing your shoelaces, um, shelter building. Uh, there's lanyards. For your knife, for your fire still, uh, you can paracord wrap a knife if you just had like a skeletonized knife. I mean, there's so many different uh, things that you can use uh, paracord for, and there's no reason not to have several lengths 
of, of Paracord. Uh, I mean, there, there's really nothing else really to say uh, except for go out there and go out and buy this. It's great. Works well. Um, just remember to fluff it up, expose those fibers, strike it, and uh, you should be good to go. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them down below. Um, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe um, and hit the thumbs up. Let me know. And uh, I appreciate you taking your time to watch my video. And um, I will see you in the next one.